Hi, this is Dr. Grace from the CSUN Geography Department, and this is a video tutorial on calculating the location quotient using zip code level data downloaded from county business patterns. Um, there's an earlier video tutorial that shows you how to download the data. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do uh, a VLOOKUP in order to query one table to find data in the other and then we will use the data produced by the VLOOKUP function to calculate location quotient. You should look that up. Uh, probably Wikipedia has a link to it, but it's essentially a measure of business density that is calculated by generating a ratio of ratios. First thing we're going to do is the VLOOKUP table. I'm going to expand uh, column K and J here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to entitle this V look fast food and what I have over here is a column of all establishments by zip code and over here the number of fast food establishments. Essentially what we're trying to do in this instance is to ask the software to find um, a value in this table that matches a value in in this column and essentially what we have in this first column is uh, the Census Bureau's identifier similar to a zip code um, for each of the zip codes that have a business in California. We want to get it to look up these values and if it finds a match in this column to report the value in the yellow column at the far right. So here we go. In order to do this we we'll have to type in or uh, the formula or we can use the formula tool. I'll use that first. Click on the tab, formula tab, click up, look up, and reference, choose VLOOKUP. The lookup value that we're seeking is over here in the far left and the lookup table is Oh, my bad. I need to go here and then click into the new dialog box window here and I'm going to select and highlight the entire data table here on the right. I'm going to press the F4 key which places dollar signs into this reference area and that freezes or locks the data that I have highlighted. The column index number is the number where of columns over in this table that contains the data we want reported. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's the ninth row. So I'm going to come over here, erase this, and type in the letter number nine. And then here I'm going to type the word false. Uh, when the function argument says false, that means that it has to be an exact match. I'm going to click OK, and we should have 29 because zip code 9001 on this side has tw is over here, and it has 29 fast food restaurants. I'm going to press Control C to copy and double click in the lower right hand corner of the copied cell. Notice that the cursor changes from a sort of a fat plus sign to a skinny plus sign. I'm going to double click. Note that we will it copies it all the way down and note that we get some um, rows with NA for not available. That just means that there isn't a fast food restaurant in zip code 9009 and that's okay. So uh, we have 29 um, fast food restaurants and I'm going to 
Right now, I'm going to actually sort of uh, clean the table up a little bit. I'm going to click on the two, click on the home tab, and delete that row because it's not necessary. And now I'm going to um, perform a couple of Okay, here's the formula for location quotient, and on the top of the, the numerator here, there is a ratio, and essentially it's the percent of the local fast food restaurants, or the subset of the greater um, list of things, the percent of the statewide total. So we have to get the statewide total first. The first thing I'm going to do is I, I want to sort and filter all of the, to sort the data by fast food and I will uh, come down here to the bottom and take all of these not availables and I want to erase them and turn them into zeros. And then slight below here, I want to then take a sum of all the fast food places. So I'm adding them up. Uh, we get 25,619. I'm going to press C, Control C to copy this. And I want to come over here uh, to this column. And in fact, I can do it for all of the, the columns. But it's, it's this column here that's important and I will highlight it in, in uh, yellow. And so that's the total number of establishments. So there's 849,191 businesses of those 25,619 are fast food restaurants. I will color those green to help make it easy to see what's going on. I'm going to type in LQFF for location quotient of the fast food joints. In order to complete this formula, I type an equal sign and two open parentheses. The first thing I want to do is to get um, the numerator in the location quotient. So that is the local number of fast foods divided by and that's, in this instance, uh, cell K2. And then I have to scroll down all the way to the bottom here to my total number of fast food joints. And I'm going to press F4. So now that's K2 is the local number of fast food restaurants divided by the statewide total. I'm going to press the close parentheses and then a division sign and then an open parentheses. Now I want to repeat what I did, but this time with the yellow column. So there are 12 establishments in zip code 90051 divided by, and then I want to scroll down to the bottom of that column and divide that by 841, 849, whatever's in that cell. Press F4 again to freeze the cell reference, close parentheses twice, which completes the formula, and then multiply by 100. So that has a location quotient of 276, which tells you that, that, um, that having one of your 12 total businesses is above what you would expect for the statewide average. A score of 100 means that you have in locally the exact same ratio of businesses of the subset, in this case fast food, as you do in the statewide. So I'm going to copy the location qu quotient formula, double click to copy it down all the way, and you can see very high value here. 50% um, of all businesses in that zip code are fast food, but then uh, there are other places like one out of 395 that are fast food here in zip code 90402, and so that is well below the average. I'm going to um, resort this by zip code, sort it back A to Z, 
uh, we can disregard the values of zero uh, by zip code and then we have the location quotient and we can tell which zip codes are now saturated uh, with fast food and which ones have perhaps less than you would expect. That marks the end of this video tutorial.